Okay. Hey, stat friends. So I got this question and it brings up kind of, it depends which version of Excel you're using to be able to get these equations or the trend lines. Um, so this is question here where it says, use the advertised price for used cars for a particular model in the accompanying table to create a linear model for the relationship between a car's age and its price. So you grab your data, um, copy it to a clipboard and just control C. And um, I'm going to post it in both places. So this is the desktop version of Excel on a PC. And this is the online version of Excel. Um, and you can see that I have this, I'm, I'm connected to the, U, I have a URL up here. So this computer has the desktop version downloaded, which is this version. And then this is the online version. So if you have the a desktop version, you've watched me do this on the online homeworks and that sort of thing. I would come in here. So if I make it full screen, you know, you do insert and you can do this scatter plot. And then if it's a PC, you can click on this right here and then add the trend line. And then you can click here and then more options and then display the equation, display R, right? Now, if you have a Mac, the, the little plus sign doesn't come and you have to do this add chart element element. But the person that sent the email didn't care about that because they are not using this desktop version. So I need to stop talking about that. And I want to talk instead about the online version of Excel, which works on a Chromebook or a Mac or a PC. And it's just basically you're on the web. One thing to be sure here is we don't have, a, it doesn't look like we have the same type of window. And you can, if you click down like this and change to the classic ribbon, it'll kind of show you more of the regular ribbon. Here's just the home, right? So you select the data, you go to insert, you still choose the scatter plot, which is fine. So you're all good there. But then you don't have the plus sign. You don't have the, you know, you don't have that little plus like add chart element. So what are we going to do? What you do is you click on the data. And if you just, I double clicked on the data. Oh, look, something went wrong. <laughs> And let me try again. Let me see. So I double click on the data and it still is acting up. Well, look at you. So I trying to refresh because I, you know, it's the online version. So maybe it acts up sometimes. So let me try this again. And then let me try. Okay. <laughs> it came up. So that's interesting. It, it, sometimes it acts up, but that's because you're dealing with the online and who knows. All right. So you have these different things um, that you can add. You can see the chart title is there, which is, the, it did the price. It took the price advertised as a chart title. Um, if you wanted to add a horizontal axis, um, like you would need to turn that on, like the title, you could turn it on and it would give you that that's the horizontal axis and you could go and you could also do the uh, vertical axis, the same thing if you wanted to add that, but that's probably not what you're wondering about, but still you could add that. But what you're really curious about is that trend line. Um, so if you click here on this series price ad uh, advertise, you can see right here, trend line, you need to toggle that on and it turns it on and it draws the line in there. And then just scroll down and you'll see this equation values. You'll want to toggle that and you can choose display the equation on the cart and you can also display the R squared. And then if you want to get the R, um, you can take the square root of the R squared to get the R or um, you can also do equal sign coral um, to get the R. So it's kind of, it's hard to see it. You might want to, let's see if I, see if I can drag it. So it's not this. I don't know if it's acting up for you. It's be acting up for me. I'm sure. Maybe. Well, there. I mean, I can read that, I guess. Hopefully you can read it. I wish you could. It doesn't seem to want to move. Um, oh, there. So I clicked on it and then I got it able to move. So I uh, hope that answers your question about getting the trend line when you are using the online version of Excel. Again, you click on the data. And then um, if you double click on the data, then it should access this and you should be good to go. And we also saw that sometimes it might act up and you might want to just do the, um, you know, refresh it so it can work properly. All right. Thanks for the question.